All right, we have a nice problem on the screen. But before we solve this problem, let me ask you a question. Do you know how to solve it? If you do, go down in the comments and put your answer. You will be surprised how many people get it wrong. You'll be surprised that many don't even know where to start. And that's the question we're going to answer. Where do we start? Well, if you don't know where to start or what's the first step you need to take, you should know this acronym that stands and it reads as PEMDAS. Some of you don't know what PEMDAS is, so let me explain. The P represents parentheses. The E, this one is called exponents and it represents an exponent and the M and a D. With these two, you have to be very careful because whenever you see multiplication or division, we always solve these operations from left to right. Why? It's because PEMDAS says so. And it means that if you see division first, you have to do division. And if you see multiplication first, you have to do multiplication because it's from left to right. The same for addition and subtraction. These are interchangeable. If you see the addition first, you have to do addition. If you see the subtraction first before the addition, you have to do subtraction. So these two terms, four terms, four operations, to be more specific. You have to be very careful with these four operations. So step one, guys, something that you should go ahead and do subtraction, some think it's addition, but there's something that you don't notice that some people forget the exponent. So first step is to check if there are any operations. And that is, no, there aren't any operations when it comes to parentheses. Now, for the E exponents, you have to ask yourself, are there any exponents in this problem? Yes, we have an exponent. So the first step here is to solve that exponent. And if you close, look closely, that exponent is 2 to the third power. It simply means that you are multiplying 2, 3 times by itself. And if you solve it, it will get to 4 times 2 equal 8. Now, now you have a new problem and this problem turns into 12 minus 8 plus 1. Now what is the step you take here? Some think it's addition because they see PEPNAS and they see the A coming first but you have to remember addition and subtraction. We start from left to right. Whichever you see first you gotta solve first. Well I see the subtraction first but remember guys don't, don't just go ahead and solve. Ask yourself any multiplications in this problem, any division in this problem. You have to do this because in that way you will not forget doing these operations. Now, no multiplication, no division. We can do 8 plus 1. No. The first thing you need to do is subtraction because we do it from left to right. And if we solve now, if you solve this mentally in your head, so 12 minus 8 will give you 4. So now this problem turns into 4 plus 1. And 4 plus 1 is 5. Did you get 5? 